Hello everyone. Welcome to Hear Listen Speak. I'm Sebi Maria Manuel. I am a clinical audiologist. So today's topic of discussion is very important to all of us. It's about mobile phone use and its effect on our ears. So when we talk about effect of mobile phone on our ears, we need to think about two major things. One, what is the effect of radiation from mobile phone on our ears? And what is the effect of constant loud sound on our ears? In today's video, let's see in detail how this radiation effect our ears. In the next video, we'll speak about effect of mobile phone volume on our ears. So when we are talking about radiation effects from mobile phone, what kind of a radiation are we talking about? It's nothing but it's an electromagnetic radiation. When we make a call, uh, our sound is converted into electromagnetic radiation and it is sent to the mobile tower. So from the mobile tower, again, the radiation is sent to the receiver's phone. So the person who is making a call and the person who is receiving the call, both of them are exposed to this electromagnetic radiation. Now what kind of a, or what is the nature of this electromagnetic radiation? It is a non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation is a milder form of radiation wherein it cannot cause any major changes in our cells. But it can cause mild disturbance like uh, a burning sensation or a heating up sensation and it can even give some amount of pain when we are exposed to this radiation constantly. Research says that around 40 to 50 percent of this radiation is absorbed in the area or in the side where we use our mobile phone. Let's see what this radiation can cause. Have you any time felt a burning sensation or a heated up feeling after a long call? It's nothing but it's an effect of constant exposure to these radiations. Another effect that this radiation can cause is pain. Pain can also be caused by pressing our mobile phone against our ears. This majorly happens when we don't get a good signal. So what do we do? We press the phone hard against our ear to hear more clearly. So when we do that, our pinna, this portion of our ear that's called pinna. So blood supply to this pinna gets affected and that can also result in ear pain. Now, a third effect which is reported in literature due to electromagnetic radiation is ringing in our ears. So, research says that constant use of mobile phone can even cause inner ear fluid to get heated up. So, what do you mean by inner ear fluid? To make it simple, ear has three parts, external ear, middle ear, inner ear and imagine our inner ear just like a mosquito coil. So, the coil is filled with a fluid. So when we are constantly using mobile phone against our ears, this radiation can cause heating up of this fluid which is there in our inner ear and that might cause ringing in our ears. Another important point which I would want to highlight here is effect of radiation on children could be much more than that on adults. This is because skull density in children is much lesser than that in adult. So the penetration of the radiation or absorption of radiation in children could be much more. So cumulative effect meaning to say effect of radiation over a period of time could be much more in children than in us. So we have to be very careful while using our mobile phone around our children. Now that we understood these effects, what can we do to reduce these effects? First point, talk less. So we need to avoid all those unwanted calls and make all those long calls short. Second thing, keep the phone away from our ears. How can we keep the phone away from our ears? One way is by using speakerphone. Second, we can use headphones. Third, we can use hands-free. Another way how we can reduce effect of radiation is by keeping the phone down. By keeping the phone down, what I meant is not directly keeping on the ears, by keeping it like a bit down, if we keep the phone by 2 inches down, we are reducing the effect of radiation by 4 times. If we have a side preference, try to talk on both the sides especially when we have a long call. So, so switching the sides help us in reducing the effect of radiation particularly to one side. Avoid taking calls or avoid doing calls when the signal is very weak. When the signal is weak, the amount of radiation that has to be produced is much more. So the effect of radiation also would be more. While giving your mobile phone to children to play, always put it in aeroplane mode and give it to them. Signals from the phone is negligible when it is in aeroplane mode. 
So how do we know that what is the amount of radiation that our phone is making? So there is this specific value called specific absorption rate or SAR, S -A -R, that is SAR value. SAR value means it is the amount of radiation that is absorbed by our body. How can we check the SAR value of our phone? Just type star hash 07 hash on your phone and dial it. But most of the phone you will get your SAR value. Indian government has limited SAR value up to 1.6. So next time when you are planning to buy a new phone, make sure you check for the SAR value and choose a phone with the least SAR value. That will definitely help us with lower exposure to the radiation. I hope this video was informative. Thank you all. See you all in next video. Till then, happy hearing.